So I thought I'd give you just a, a quick idea of what I've been up to this week. Uh, today is Thursday. Started this picture on... Oh, when did I start it? Tuesday, I think. Uh, started the detail yesterday and so far it's just gone two in the afternoon Thursday. It's a bigger picture than I'm used to, well, than I've been used to recently. I've been doing a lot of smaller panels. This one is 30 by 30 inches. Uh, I think it's going quite well, but I just want to show you the progress and how how I, you know, from day to day, how much I get done. These trees here are finished. Um, I'm now working on this area here. Once that's done, I'll continue work on the bank, fill that tree in, and then we're working on this bank and then the water at the end. Let me give you a, show you a close up. It's going probably a bit more detailed than I should be doing. Um, even the picture this size, you know, I'd really want to be finishing it in a week, but um, I might, might, still, might still do it, but uh, at the moment you're looking at probably just over a week. Um, but I'm going to spend another couple of hours on it now and I'll show you how far I get on in the next clip. Well, I'm coming to a close now. Um, I feel a bit frazzled. It's been a, a long day. I've uh, got a fair amount done. Fairly happy with it. Let's give you an idea. Finish those trees which I wanted to finish earlier. Um, look, there's my setup here. So I've got my uh, tablet here on an arm. Connected to the top of the easel. Oh, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Just working on this bank. The colours I've been using today are uh, Thelo Green. That's the... Um, uh, yellow shade, got burnt umber, cerulean blue. Um, that is cadmium yellow medium, I believe. No, cadmium yellow light hue. We've got um, ultramarine, French ultramarine, titanium white, cadmium orange, ivory black, sap green. Uh, Aliz uh, no, what's that one? Um, oh, dioxine purple. I think that's pretty much it. And of course. Bit of the old liquid. I've used just in the last 10 minutes this fan brush here, manky old fan brush. Um, and uh, where's that brush gone? This one. Just to focus on that. There we go. Can you see that? I'm not sure that's coming out. In fact, there's no. There's not even any marking on it. It's a Rosemary & Co. Um, rigging brush, so. So this is where it all happens. As you can see, I'm a bit of a tidy freak. Selection of brushes. Got some more brushes there. Let me look under here, what do we got? Paints, current paints. More newer brushes. Airbrushing equipment, which I don't really use anymore. Oh, this is interesting. Got my goggles. I sometimes use for, use for uh, the more uh, detailed work. Got some more palettes there, which are actually just old tiles. Liquid. Oh, some jars. Acrylic paints there. Don't use those very often. Some more acrylic paints there. Oil paints. Coming up to the end of the day now, I'm just going to I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do these reeds, just to show you. That's what we're painting. But I'm just going to there's, there's not the variety of colour in this at the moment, and there there won't be probably today. But I'm just going to show you the process. Handheld, so I hope I get it all in. But here we go. So once again, using my favourite brush. The rigger, can now can you see that? There we are, Rosemary & Co. Sable Blend 771. And uh, that works really well for this. So what I've got here is 
mainly that's ivory black but it's pretty watered down there's a little bit of sap green in there as well just so it's not too strong so it's really really watery and I'm not not well, I'm not really using much liquid on this it's mainly just white spirit in fact got a bit too wet there so yeah, that's going to be super transparent so it's not going to come out as black it's going to pick up mainly the colors that are underneath and we're just going to fill in some of the darker areas with this first of all just random random little marks just try and suggest uh, it's not even working the brush has stopped working just trying to uh, suggest the detail here once you get that consistency, you will need to keep almost every every time you put more um, paint on the brush or every other time, you're going to probably want to add just a touch more white spirit because it's, it's quite warm today and it's going to dry really quickly. So I'm not too worried about the water line at the moment. I'll add to that as I go. And also, as we go up here, we're probably not going to be doing quite so many dark strokes. But certainly at the base here, we're going to load it up. So let's uh, show you now some lighter. Now what I've got here, once again, very watered down. We are using um, Cello Green there some cadmium yellow light I think that is or I did have some lemon on, uh, Windsor Windsor lemon on there is Windsor lemon yeah Windsor lemon uh, I've, I've run out of that I'm not too worried I won't put any more down now because it's coming up to the end of the day so I just pick that up it's probably not quite enough white Let's put a bit more on to give it a bit more strength. Ah, that's better. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's better. That's better. So, just pretty random, really. Don't you need to be too particular about it. Just like that, really? Just like that, pretty simple. Some higher areas in. You kind of want to get that top line there yeah, uneven. It doesn't. You don't want that. You don't want that to look as if it's been clipped. So I'll go over the water line there a little bit, and then I might even add some some of this blue here down into it, just down here, so it's into the actual reeds. So we've got a more of an uneven line. And actually, I'm going to show you, as I said, just before we do go, I just want to show you that. So this is the colour that I'd already mixed up for the reflection, or the reflection of the sky, I should say. So I'm just going to, it's a bit dry actually, so I'll be redoing that. A load of white spirit. It might be a bit too light, so I'm just going to add a bit of cerulean blue. Maybe a touch of dioxine purple, just a little bit. Okay, now actually, that area I haven't really done that yet, but I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow. So we're just gonna 
No, it doesn't even see dark. So we go back. Add a bit more light. So here, look. Oh, here we go. So we just pull some, some of that water down. Here, just a little bit. But it gives you the feeling that the reeds are sitting on top, and it's a little bit less um, neat and trimmed and. Yeah, just little things like that, I think, make all the difference.